<laughs> what are you looking at was the most dangerous feared man in the United States of America. If you needed something done in the 80s and 90s, this was the man to get it done. For the Patreons, this is an early access video. You'll get it before it premieres on my YouTube channel to the rest of the world. This is Anthony Joseph Pelicano Jr. AKA Ray Donovan <laughs> from Showtime. Except for he was nothing like Ray. Ray is a mixture of a couple of other guys. Ray was more of a hands-on fixer. This was the Hollywood fixer of all Hollywood fixers. He became infamous for all of his works of getting celebrities out of trouble, whether it was Elizabeth Taylor, um, Tom Cruise, Michael Jackson. This was the man. Now, here's a very key thing that many people didn't know. Anthony Pelicani. Or Calinano, whatever. Pelicano. He was uniquely good at manipulation. That was his best talent. He wanted to get into the entertainment business. And he wanted to help another celebrity female, um, you know, find her missing husband. And to prove that he was good at what he did, he staged, allegedly, this whole thing. He did a Geraldo type of where's the body and we're going to find the treasure map. Elizabeth, husband, Elizabeth Taylor's husband was dug up out of the ground after... He had died in like the 50s. And he was buried for years. And no one seen him. Then all of a sudden, you know, he was dug up and no one could find his body. The police did it and, you know, looked around for it. Couldn't find anything. He said he could find and locate it. Elizabeth Taylor hired him. And he would only be paid if he could locate the body. The body was in a plastic bag under a tree as some local mob guys had some guys dig up his body thinking that Elizabeth Taylor had put a very expensive ring on his finger. They wanted to dig him up to get the ring because they felt it was worth probably millions for the ring. They had every intentions of returning the body, apparently. But he takes a camera crew and he leads them out to where the police had searched by a tree. And there it was. This bag. Now, of course, he was questioned about this by the police, but what could they do? Elizabeth Taylor was so grateful. She opened up her client clientele list and recommended everybody have him on retainer. He was the master of the wiretap. You need somebody tapped, you grab that man. Tom Cruise wanted to get out of a marriage with Nicole Kidman. So he hired the man who illegally tapped her phone, allegedly, when people don't even know how he had the uh, capabilities of doing these things. He could get wiretaps on anyone. Even Bill Clinton 
allegedly hired him to find information out on Monica Lewinsky. Michael Jackson, in the first case that was with the boy, uh, and the father was suing for all this amount of money, and Michael ended up settling out of court, he was the one that found the tapes of the father and the extortion attempt and had even Chris Tucker come involved with the second child. He was involved with helping out with the first case before he was no longer working with the Jacksons. Now, Chris Rock had problems. Some girl overseas claimed that Chris Rock was the father of her child. Chris Rock was messing around with a bunch of women at the time, and she happened to be one of them. So the DNA test proved Rock was innocent of all these crimes that was committed against him or allegated. So he hired the number one guy that can get him out of it, Anthony Pelicano, who found wiretaps, threats, everything to get this case resolved. After the paternity test was over, she tried to sue for abuse. That didn't work either, and Chris Rock was exonerated, as this man was a genie in a bottle. Pelicano was good for his intimidating threats of leaving roses inside of a fish's mouth on top of cars, with a sign on the windshield that says stop with a bullet hole in it to make sure the message was clear. He wasn't a guy to be messed with. And media journalists, they were all in fear of this man. Mike DeLorean tried to get his alleged drug fund money into his legitimate business, which was the DeLorean cars. So he was set up by the FBI in a sting. They had it all recorded and he came in to buy kilos and of cocaine and do a drug deal. And DeLorean was arrested. And in his trial, Pelicano was able to argue that the tapes that they got were inconclusive and we couldn't really make out if that was truly Mike DeLorean. The jury agreed. <laughs> and Mike DeLorean won an unwinnable case against the federal government. So, to basically make this even more clear, he's even helped out the government on assassination attempts. He's helped the government uncover or enhance an audio tape where it was so distorted. He had technology and equipment that could basically drown out sound. This was back in the 80s and 90s before it even existed. Now in the digital age, the stuff that he... You know, we could easily do that now, probably from our home computer. This didn't really exist with tape. He had the technology already and was using it for his benefit. Now, since he was younger, he wanted to be in the entertainment business. He wanted to be where the stars were. Because this is where the money was. Now, Pelicano, as all, greed. He helped the federal government in a case that many felt, why is they going to this guy? Because he can clear up a wiretap and made it very clear. So they were able to catch some former Ku Klux Klan member who had bombed the church in which four African-American little girls in Birmingham lost their lives 
he was able to find the audio and they would they help the government arrest that gentleman and put him away. Pelicano's recording techniques and clearing the tapes made that possible. And when Clinton had problems before Monica Lewinsky, before he ran during his first campaign, threats were sent also to the female who was pressing Bill Clinton after Anthony again once again was hired. These were the techniques, intimidation, bullying, This is the way. <laughs> no one mentions Eddie Murphy's situation. Um, Eddie Murphy had a very bad outing in which um, he had picked up a girl in a car who eventually talked to the National Enquirer. They were able to grab her before Anthony uh, Pelicani was even hired, Elicano rather, was hired. Um, to oversee the situation, Eddie was just ch chasing flame after flame after flame. Where they decided to flip this whole thing on the girl or the tranny or trans person. So this was going to get flipped real easy, and the attention was all on this person of the night, the streetwalker. Now, the thing is the shutting of the shutting up of the mouth. Uh, money was presented, and this person turned down said money numerous times, believing that it wasn't enough, that there was more money to be made. And allegedly, um, a person got locked out of their house that was in the car with Murphy. And decided to, I don't know, take a plunge, two floor stories, floor high, only in the tile. Where people, police assumed she went outside to get a paper and got locked out and tried to get on from up top. That's how they wrote it and closed the book. Very rare that this woman lost her life after the biggest controversy in her lifetime, which rocked Eddie Murphy's world. She just mysteriously decided that, you know, she could fly. We don't know what happened there. So, he was eventually arrested after the federal government uh, did an investigation on him for over six years for extortion and, you know, torturous interference, everything. They threw the book at him. Now, they wanted him to give up names. And he could have walked. He could have walked. But he didn't give up names. All he did was keep the names to himself. He kept all the information and he didn't want to be a rat. And everybody ran for the hills once he got arrested. But they did not notice one key thing. This guy could do a tell-all book and shock the world. Nothing could stop him from doing it if he wanted to, but the people who were making documentary movie and everything else came knocking, and he turned them all down. Now, the Ray Donovan show seems to be based on a lot of exploits of his life, and he said no, it's not a lot of, he's not Ray Donovan. Now, Ray Donovan's creators have said, no, he's only part of Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan is inspired by a lot of different fixers in the game. Uh, a lot of them have different personalities. So they wanted to make that distinctive. Like there's others like Ray or even Anthony Pelicano. That's 
bull sharks in the game. He was just very effective and number one at his craft. That even while he was locked up, people were still sending him money. And he's like, why would someone send him money? It's because he did 15 years in prison. He did them for somebody. He didn't give up a name. So I'm quite sure this was worked out prior to the world even knowing. So, that's what Anthony Picano's about. Now, the rest is up to your imagination to put together. He's out of jail. He's got one more year, I think, before he's off probation, but I don't think he can. he's going to get his license again, so he'll find a new hustle. But people are paying him money and paying his bill. So we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the page. Hit the notification bell. And thank you all who have joined the Patreon. I appreciate it. And I'm out.